Let's see another question from David Hamilton. David hey, Hamilton David. says, Hey, Robbie, I'm having some trouble. I got an email from myself about an advertisement Sweet. for some technology company. I don't know why it's being sent, and it's being sent to everyone in my contact list. I thought this couldn't happen with Ubuntu. Do you know how to make it stop? Please. <laughs> I thought I couldn't get a virus with Ubuntu, and he's wondering why uh, the viruses are coming to him signed by him. Yeah. What actually happened there? Now, I actually followed up with David because um, he actually came to us and, and had Ubuntu installed on his laptop. Oh, okay. So um, when he sent me that email, the reason that I responded right away is because I wanted to tell him, get on Hotmail right now, change your password. Because what happened is, oh. and I said this right to him, I said, uh, it's not your Ubuntu system. Your Ubuntu system's fine. But what's happened mm -hmm. is you've used a public computer or you've sat down at an internet cafe that's using uh, an infected computer with a Trojan horse virus and you've logged into Hotmail. So if you ever sit down at an internet cafe and it's got uh, Microsoft Windows on it and you're not certain if you can trust it or whatever, um, if that computer has a, a Trojan horse, a Trojan virus, it can obtain that personal information. If you log into Facebook, if you log into Hotmail, and the most painful one right now is the fact that you know this one Trojan will actually obtain your Hotmail information, mass mail all of your friends, delete your contact list, and no. or change your password. So, so you can't get back on. So you can't get back into your Hotmail account. So oh in this case, if you've been using that Hotmail account for years, which mm -hmm. a lot of people have, yeah. you basically lose that Hotmail address. You have no way of contacting everyone in your address book because you don't have right. access to it. Etc. Etc. So in this case, he actually got back to me and said, "You know what? I went to a friend's place and I used his computer to log into Hotmail, mm -hmm. and sure enough, I talked to him and he does have a Trojan. So, wow. um, and his computer's been restarting and it's been doing all this wonky stuff. So be very careful where you log into your accounts. You wow. may think that you're safe if you're at a friend's or something like that, but it may not be the case." Wow, I had no scary, idea. Huh? Yeah, definitely. That could be very scary. Definitely. How many times are you sitting, you know, at, at the library or something oh, and you yeah. think, oh, you know, well, here's free internet. I'll log into Facebook and yeah. see what's going on. Yeah. Dangerous stuff. If you've had any experience like that, tell me in the chat room or, or send Robbie an email. We'd like to hear your stories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> so he's all fixed up. He Good changed stuff. his password right away. That's okay. the first. If you ever get an email that is from yourself, and it looks like it's been sent out to people in your address book, that probably means that this virus has gotten into your Hotmail account or whatever account it is that's infected. So make sure that, um, that you change your Hotmail password immediately. All right, That's the first thing that you need to do, or if it's Facebook or whatever it is that seems to be affected by this. Because it's not necessarily your computer, it's just some computer out there has your login information. Lots of mm -hmm. people are saying that their libraries use uh, Linux. Very cool. No way. And where, That's great. where is that? Is that in the, the US? UK, they're saying? The UK? A couple of different people. Um, question in the chat room from Raj. Raj says, uh, there are a couple of my friends who have lost their password for Yahoo and Hotmail, just going back to the previous okay. question, sure. by the same Trojan virus. Ouch. Um, how do you get it back? Can you get the password back? Unfortunately, see, the thing, the thing is, is that it actually changes the password on your login. It mm. logs in as you, goes through the steps, and changes your password. So I think the only way, uh, the only person who has power, if you can say person or entity that has the power to change that, would be the Hotmail staff, the people or Yahoo staff, the people who are uh, able to access the SQL or wherever the data is stored. It would um, it would be next to impossible to, to, to fix that. Agamotto is saying that you can cancel and delete the account and recreate, but they would have to do that. You can't log into the account, so you couldn't do it. Mm. So you'd have to contact them, plead your case, prove to them that you are who you say you are. Um, hope that the virus didn't change your password hint. Oh, that's not going to make a difference anyways. Someone was just asking you Maybe about that. Maybe yeah. they have a if they have a form that allows you to send a new password. Mm. I don't know. You'd have to have a secondary email account. We'd have to talk to uh, to Microsoft about that and find out if it's possible. Hmm. As my friends say, just call the internet. Just call them. They'll fix all your problems. Call the internet. <laughs> like there's just this one eight hundred internet. internet. That's their theme song. Oh boy. Yeah. 